Hello, I'm outside on my belly under the cedar tree and it is nice and I need to discuss with you the film The Witch. That film has recently come out and I think it's in the movie theaters right now. It's not available at Amazon yet. I am not going to buy that film. I'm not going to watch that film. First of all, I stopped watching horror films quite a while ago, like 10 years ago. 10 years, no, not really 10 years. The last one I saw was the Hannibal Lecter film. I think Hannibal, where where there was an awful lot of butchering going on. So I think that was the last one, the last whole horror movie. Then I have seen some clips after that and I noticed that I can't handle it anymore at all. I'm just too sensitive. And it it doesn't have any positive nourishing results in your psychology so that's why I'm staying away from it but the reason why I need to talk about this particular film The Witch is because because it perpetuates that old belief system of the Christian religion and the Blair Witch Project, if you remember, that was a long time ago in out there on the East Coast, they made that film. What I liked about that film was that include it included nature and hiking, and they also talked excessively about how they made the film and how much they enjoyed the hike. And, and the nature and the outdoors and all of this. So this, this had a, a totally different concept. And those people, they were, I see them as innocent. They weren't, they weren't trying to perpetuate this, this Bible and stuff. They were just, um, they were just not that aware that something like this does perpetuate the Bible scare tactics and stuff. But this particular filmmaker, I forgot what the name was. He, I, I would really like to know what is the motive for him to make such a film in 2016, with that ugly message that perpetuates people's fear in in the occult and the darkness and all of these things and and particularly that that the the what really bothers me is what bothers me the most is to put a tortured dog into that film that first of all that totally violates the ethics boundaries of filmmaking leave animals out of it okay if you want to make horror movies, can we focus on the Homo sapiens alone? I would really appreciate it. It's 2016. Let's move on, okay? And um, but the other thing that is really messed up with with this film is it it is and it's it's it is packaged as some kind of badass modern type of with the, with the two V's you know he thinks that's super innovative it's 90s it's outdated it's supposed to have a, like a Viccan type of thing like a new agey but it's not it's just bullshit it's just packaged as hot with a super hot photo model in, in this film of course who is young? She doesn't know. She doesn't know. She didn't know what she's getting into with this. So I'm not blaming her. Okay, to me, she's a kid. She's she's just become an adult. So how can she know any of these political things and the consequences and all of that? I didn't know when I was 20. So, but now I have been. I've come around. I've seen quite a lot. I've studied. I've observed. I see this 
crap that's going on in the world. I see what people are doing. I see all that shit. I see all that bullshit. I see all the the interactions, the causalities. I see um, what the filmmakers are doing. I see what Hollywood is doing. I see you, Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, there are uh, maybe there's a handful of people who see what you guys are doing, uh, and uh, when we also we also put A and B together, we know that Richard Berman is most likely involved and maybe every one of those horrible horrible shit crap kitsch films that are coming from Hollywood and if it's not Richard Berman it's someone like him a market psychologist who works for the corporate agenda and as that guy in LA said in a in a safe way I forgot a Rite Aid store was I think we went there at night. He said with a straight face he gets his information from movies. Yes. Like like that's a that's the most normal thing to say. You know, I'm we're getting our information. That everything we learn in life we learn from Hollywood. <laughs> uh that is not such a good idea actually. <laughs> it would be better to do your own legwork and mental legwork and read and research things and then you will find out that the witch this whole word is is a labeling it's a slander okay that uh, that there has never been a witch there's no such thing as as uh, uh, there's first of all there's no such thing as evil there is no devil there's no hell and there's no witch Okay, it's, that's all there is to it. The worst thing that exists on on in this universe is a human ego. Okay, and it's the human ego with the greed, such as those egos from the movie producers, who are who like to get that kickback money from Richard Berman corporations who like working with Richard Berman on the set, you know. So those are the ones. That is the bad. <laughs> that is certainly what I call bad. I call... It's not badass, okay? It's, uh, But the word itself says it all, what people are... how people are polarized. So it is... It is ego. It is... It is the self, self images. You know how can how will I be celebrated with that film? Oh, and yeah, I'm also paid under the table by Exxon Mobil for this film because that way, you know, the heck with the environmentalist. This this attitude is that's the kind of that's the shit. You know. And there the reason why. There is this labeling which always has been for for hundreds and hundreds of years, maybe thousands, is because any time someone in history, it could it usually was women. Women women are smarter in this way. Okay. So it usually women who women are mothers, they're caregivers. They bring the community together. They are better with psychology. They are better with philosophy. They are better in seeing these things. And some women off and on who had guts, who had courage, and who saw right through this shit that people were doing, you know, bloodletting and terrible things that the physicians used to do. These women, they knew better. They thought, if I can make myself a chamomile tea, for example, yeah, I can feed my blood. I don't need to let blood. I can feed my blood so that my blood, my body, can fight off an illness. Why should I lose blood? You know, to purify myself. That's a, that's a, that's hideous. That was that was a hideous belief among the physicians. So this is just one out of thousands and thousands of examples and that 
much more, much more intense herbal cures that women have found that they have written down and, and these books were burned. And the women were burned and the women were harassed and they were chased down. Some of them made it out. Where did they go? Deep into the forest, right? Yes, they would go as deep into the forest as they could possibly get away from these dictational, from this patriarchy, from this, from this, from the clergy, from all of these, from the, from these hideous people that, that held the other cheek to society, that bent down to, to the, to the ruler, the king, whoever was running the certain regions, people were just slaves to them. There was a feudal system where everyone had to had to work for free for the king, just so that they wouldn't be wouldn't be bothered. So that just so that they wouldn't get executed. That's how it used to be, you know. People I want people Instead of getting information from movies, I want people to do more research. Instead of watching shit movies and 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 uh, reality shows and Kim Kardashian's butt implant, maybe it would be time. It's really time to go. If you don't have a computer, you could be poor as hell. You can go to a library and you can research it there for yourself. You don't even need the internet for it, but most people have the internet, and there is Google, and you can googly, googly, googly everything there is, everything about the witches, in quotation marks, you know, the middle age herbalists, the wise people, the sages, that have seen through things, those are the opposite of that what they labeled a, an evil witch. The opposite. It's the people that, that, that had enough of society who went back then, they still had large force. You know, I, I heard for making this film, they couldn't even find a, a forest because everything is already built out because of overpopulation <laughs> couldn't even couldn't f- even find a find a forest they had to like really get far away so to find the last patch a last patch of of a forest that hadn't been clear cut yet you know yeah but during the middle ages they had vast forests also in Europe which is totally unheard of now uh, all the wolves exterminated people people's properties everywhere no more wolves no more bears no more grizzly bears they don't have they don't even have brown bears in Europe because everything is populated so you have to go way into Siberia to find those animals and it's it's a tragedy really yeah but during the Middle Ages let's say 1300 or even 1700 as as the film is t- depicting even in 1700 there were still forests in Europe and even in England and even yeah also in the United States I think this film is about the United States but the real you know those witch burnings and all of this that happened that started in Europe during the Middle Ages when they still had these vast forests with all the animals in in the forests and those women they were never attacked by wolves they were never attacked by an animal okay they the animals they know who cares about them they know very well when they see hunters and clergy type of people they run they don't attack them they run they they hide okay and so were the, the, the so-called witches, no? the herbalist ladies. They ran, they were hiding, and they ran and ran and ran and ran and ran, just like Zarathustra in the 
in the story by Friedrich Nietzsche. I also recommend that book highly to people. It is it's a neuronal deconstructor, that book, for sure. Do it for the sake of your own lives. Okay. So um, it's anti-Hollywood, that book. Thus spoke Zarathustra. So anyway, those women, they ran into the deep forest. And, and every time I envision that, you know, running into a deep forest, it's like a sigh of relief. You know, get away from the hassle and bustle. Get away from these, from these, from the vanity and this insanity and the insensitivity and the brutality of humans. Get far away, and that's what they did. And they built themselves little log houses to, to live in and to survive those harsh winters, particularly in northern Europe. Okay, and some of them made it. Some of them um, made it far enough into the forest, uh, and the the feudal type of people, the the servants of the kings, they they didn't ride out far enough to to get them. But many, 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 many they got. Many they took with them back into town. They, they tied them up on hands and feet. They hung them over their horses. They rode back into town with them. And they burned them on the stake. Okay. Joan of Arc was burned on the stake. It's just one of those examples. And I want you to become very aware what that must feel like. Okay. Become aware start to grow you start to grow that what the neurologists call the mirror effect start to grow this the compassion center you know you are no different to them we are all made of the out of the same material okay animals and humans we all feel pain why would you do an atrocity to another living being whether it is an animal or another person just because that person is of a different political party? Okay, let's really think about this. Think about this really in depth. I want you to think about this in depth, people. Okay, and start criticizing things. Start seeing things the way it actually is. You know, when you watch a movie, think about it. What is the message of that film? Does this film has any positive message? And if it has a negative message, what is that what's, what is that film telling you? What is it saying? You know, ask these questions, go home and write it down. Think about this. Get into the depths of it. Don't turn a radio on to forget everything, to drown everything out again. Don't keep running away from yourself. Go within yourselves. That is the only path for us. So I had this is my criticism of this film, and I'm very disappointed that this stuff is still going on today. Take care. Bye bye.